Tonight, SmackDown's going to bring down the house in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz at ringside. You got that right, Cole. I'll tell you what, man. I am so pumped up and amped up. I can't wait. Neither can I, Taz. And I'm sure these Salt Lake fans can't either. So let's get this show on the road. Nice quick counter. Man, even if you end up winning a match like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Emotional? What the hell are you talking about? Well, I've been in the locker room after a match and seen the superstars who don't get their hands raised. You can literally feel the disappointment radiating off them. It's not a pretty sight. Looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move in my opinion. Well, come on. You just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself out and make a critical mistake. No, but you can't give the opponent any time to recover, neither. You gotta stay on them and wear them down. Well, what about picking your spot? If you try to execute a badly timed move just because you want to stay on offense, that can have a disastrous result. I'll tell you what, bro. let me talk about what it's like to be in a match like this, and you can cover what it's like to whiten your teeth. Heel! Whoa! That was a textbook reversal. There's the reversal, Cole. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, Cole. An injured superstar is like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. You got that right, Cole. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponent think they're easy picking. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be easy pickings, no matter how beaten up they get. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. Oh, come on, Cole. No, you should let me train you. You could be cruiserweight champion in like a year. Oh, no. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like pushovers. Duh. They're just training people to go to war. I train them to be WWE superstars. Well, thanks, but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing for now. These superstars have been going hard all match. They sure have. And that's where the superb conditioning of the WWE superstars comes into play. No doubt, Cole. There ain't no way you're going to win a match if you're out of gas two minutes into it. You can say that again. I've seen matches won and lost simply because one superstar was able to outlast their opponent. This capacity crowd is making their opinions known tonight. No surprise there, Cole. The WWE fans ain't exactly known for keeping their opinions to themselves. It's so great seeing these athletes compete here tonight. I had a feeling they were going to wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you how glad I am that it did. That's for sure. You know, any time before these kind of combustible elements into a match, you're guaranteed to get a hell of a show. And that's exactly what we're seeing here tonight. Can you believe this match so far, Cole? I really can't, Taz. This isn't anything like what I expected from these competitors. Yeah, I gotta admit, they're surprising the hell out of me here, too. And I think it's that unpredictability that makes... Oh, man, this ain't gonna be pretty. Most fish shots in the turnbuckle. Blow after blow after blow. When's it going to end? I think we're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight, Taz. It's a great thing to hear, Cole. I'm all in favor of freedom of expression, whether I agree with what they're saying or not. What a counter that was! When you see this level of competition, Cole, 
There is no doubt that SmackDown's just head and shoulders better than Raw. I couldn't agree more, Taz. Raw has some incredible superstars, no question about it. But they just can't compete with SmackDown's finest. Come on, Cole. I know you're just trying to be diplomatic, but you can't seriously sit there and say that there's anyone on the Raw roster you'd want to have here on SmackDown. Man, you talk about superstars and we ain't got an ounce of quit in them, huh? You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Look, Cole, this ain't ballet. You gotta go in there every single match and be willing to do whatever it takes. You'd know that if you actually stepped in between the ropes. I don't have to be in a match to realize that jeopardizing my future for the sake of one match is incredibly short-sighted. Cole, I swear, I'm gonna replace you with someone who actually knows what they're talking about. Maybe Carlito. He might be a little tough to understand sometimes, but at least he knows what it's like to wrestle a match. I gotta tell you, Cole, I thought I had this thing figured out, but now I got no idea how this is gonna end up. Neither do I, Taz. And I think it's that unpredictability that makes it so exciting. No doubt, Cole. I've seen superstars get a huge advantage over their opponents and still lose the match because they got sloppy. Anything can happen in WWE. An entire match can turn on one or two big moves. And that's why you can't take your eyes off the action for one second. You never know when something huge is going to go down. Tell you, all the WWE superstars are legit tough guys, but these superstars are really raising a bar here tonight. They sure are, Taz. We're seeing some great intensity here tonight, and that's the name of the game, Cole. Intensity. You gotta stay on your opponent until one of you can't go anymore. I think these superstars are well aware of that, Taz. I think that's exactly what they got in mind. Oh man, these fans are fired up now. They sure are, and you know that's going to have an effect on this match. These superstars give everything they got when they're in a match like this, but a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes also. No question. If you want to make it in the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything for your career. It has to be as important to you as anything else in your life. Cole, what you got to realize, to make it in the WWE, this is not a job. This is a lifestyle. That's why you see so much passion for what they do in the ring. And that's something you won't see anywhere else. With all due respect to every athlete and entertainer out there, no one gives as much of themselves to their fans as... There's the submission hold. I've seen a lot of superstars tap out to this one, Cole. You and me both, partner. And we might be about to see another one right here. just can't get enough of these superstars. And I'm glad to see it. A WWE match isn't just about competition, it's also about entertaining the fans. Okay, well, if that's the case, how come they got you as an announcer? I mean, that ain't exactly great entertainment in my opinion. You might be right, Taz. I think it would be extremely entertaining to listen to you try to call a match all by yourself. Listen to that chant, Taz. I'll tell you what, if you've got the crowd on your side or against you, it makes a huge difference, believe me. And there's the submission hole. What a deadly maneuver this is. You're not kidding, Cole. Well, I think this one's pretty much a foregone conclusion. Not too tough to figure out who's going to win this one. You know, this wouldn't be the first time you've made a prediction that didn't pan out. That's pretty funny. You know what I predict? You keep up with your mouth, you're going to have a permanent limit. Man, I almost feel bad for JR and Kinsman. When's the last time you think they saw a match this good? I couldn't tell you, Taz. I don't know if they've ever had anything this good on Raw. Me neither. Because I guess that just makes sense. I mean, after all, 
SmackDown is the number one brand in all of sports entertainment. And that's one of the few things we completely agree on, partner. Here's your winner, the superstar.